Hey, hey, everybody. I'm Jeff Pollard at solarpowerthepeople.org and Jeff Pollard 11. I'm with Dane Myers and uh, we're doing a little something special. So right now, you know, I've interviewed this guy before. I liked his message. He's a musician and I brought him back and I wanted to be like, hey, what are you up to now? So Dane, thank you so much for coming. What are you up to? Tell us a little bit about yourself and tell us what you've been up to. Yeah, for sure. So I'm a musician, I'm a songwriter. And as we talked about last time, I spent a year and a half living in my electric vehicle and showing off all the EV things that I could. And um, so this year I've upgraded a little bit and I'm now pulling with my Tesla, I'm pulling a 26 foot uh, snowmobile trailer that I've converted into a tiny house here for myself and a place to make and record my music and videos. Um, and so, yeah. No, that, that like, you know, I've been, I've been following his stuff and that, that's what makes it cool. And that's why I wanted to kind of do stuff like this is, you know, what have you been up to? And this dude, you know, went from just like living in your car, essentially in your Tesla, I believe. And yeah, now you've progressed. So that's awesome. What do you, how has life been? Cause I think it's been a few years or maybe a year since we've talked, but like, what, what have you been up to? Any new recordings, anything of that sort or? Yeah, so I finished up a 17 song album called uh, The New American Dreamers, which is some of the songs that you had heard last year. Um, but it's like really exploring sustainability and what it's like being a human, um, you know, in the midst of all the things happening uh, with the climate you know, crisis. And so um, it's really like a celebration of the things that, you know, that I can be part of that are fun, that feel good to be part of that are addressing the issue. It's also about some of the tough stuff that's happening that I don't know what to do about it. Um, but this is all like the, the trailer, all of this stuff this year uh, is really just a continuation of that thought process. So I'm putting out a song every week um, from this studio here. Um, I'm continuing to learn about and explore sustainable lifestyle, sustainable technology, um, trying to give myself the room without having to invest in you know, buying a home in a location. I'm in Miami right now. So buying a home in Miami is not only very expensive, but it's really scary if you're really concerned about sea level rise. Um, and so this gives me the ability to like own my space and be able to mess with it and experiment with it, but without having to set roots down somewhere. So I've been learning about insulation and building. I built this ceiling here so I can insulate the top of it. Um, I've hooked up a bunch of solar panels and batteries in here to learn about, you know, renewable energy with a really hands-on level um, rainwater. So this is giving me room to, to sort of flesh out what that stuff is really like. All right. So, that, I mean, that's really cool. And, you know, we're on the West coast, so I feel you in terms of coastal stuff, <laughs> but, um, so where have you, you know, everyone always likes to hear about inspirations, like what kind of inspirations for some of your songs, like have, do you have like a quick anecdote or, uh, what also, if you know, if you can think of any like hiccups you might have had, you know, uh, just being a musician in a studio of your your type, you know. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, it's easy to feel like it's mostly hiccups. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it, just because you're you're exploring something new, and so you know you're really focused on how to solve whatever it is you're running into. Um, some of the stuff I read a really good book recently called Sand Talk, which is a, a first people's like a um, indigenous perspective on sus Western sustainability. And it really got me thinking in all sorts of different ways. Like I haven't really read any other indigenous knowledge um, pieces. And so that's been really on my mind and inspiring a lot of stuff. Um, last year, I did a piece inspired by uh, the utility company here in South Florida last year, tried to do some shady like they do every three four years some really shady stuff to kill florida solar so i wrote a song inspired by like you know just like you did like rolling my eyes at at fpl um i did a piece about the sugarcane burning here in florida so when they harvest sugarcane in florida they burn the crop as part of the harvesting process so there's eight months of the year where they're burning sugarcane like every day and they're only allowed to burn it when the wind is blowing towards like the poor neighborhoods of color and so respiratory hospitalizations there go up like 35% for those eight months of the year where they're burning. Um, and so we got to interview some people in that community and create a song about it. It won the National Ansel Adams Award for environmental storytelling. Um, and that was like a whole experience to be part of and really an honor to get to cover that topic. Um, 
So that was an inspiration last yeah. year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, and I really appreciate you telling that story. I mean, I love hearing from a native, you know, what's going on in that neck of the woods. So I, I had no idea it was that kind of thing. Yeah, I was really shocked, too, to figure out that it's happening in, you know, my backyard to our fellow Floridians. Um, and yeah, and also, you know, it's like at the same time, sugar is really happening to all of us. You know, it's something that's embedded in all of our food options now you know, uh, sugar related illnesses are a huge cost of taxpayer dollars on our medical system. So it's like, sort of like this epic lose lose that I really got to go see for myself. And you, yeah. you walk around this town and like, it's like, it's almost like snow, but it's ash that's falling on you. Oh, it's gosh. like, like, to me, it's like, I don't know if pesticidal is a word, but it's like, these crops are soaked in pesticides, and they're burned up into the air, and then they fall, you know, and get on your car and whatever. And so it's like, it's very, like, yeah. it's a whole experience to go there it's like this godforsaken place yeah breathing it in and all that stuff that's why you know every so often i mention like microplastics because it's gross that the food we eat they ate some microplastic of it it just came to us so you're breathing in you know god knows what so it's just yeah yeah, yeah. but um no i appreciate that story i kind of want to finish off with what uh what, what style of music? Like, what, what are you? What, what can people kind of look for? And then also, uh, we talked before we started recording, and Dane was kind enough to perform something. So I'm going to attach that later. You'll find all of his info. You'll be able to contact him and stuff like that, but also enjoy a taste of what he's about to talk about. So who are you? What kind of music? What kind of thing are you? Yeah, um, I'm, it's, I think it's really songwriter-driven, like hip-hop rap stuff. Okay. Yeah, cool. so I really love Kendrick Lamar, Dominic Fike. I really love the songwriters of like the 60s and 70s. Um, yeah, somewhere in Anderson Pack. These are some people that are big influences on me. Yeah, cool, cool. Oh, that's all. Thank you, Dane, for uh, to, for chatting with me again. Uh, please, at totally. the end of this, you'll you'll either see uh, another video or it'll be attached to this one, but you'll see his performance. So I really appreciate it, Dane, for. Uh, Talking once again. Hope to have you again. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. All right, man. Take care. See you, everybody. All right. What is up, Jeff Pollard Nation? People that follow the Pollard Podcast, my name is Dane Myers. They call me the Green Gatsby. You're in the Green Gatsby's mansion right now, which is my solar off-grid snowmobile trailer that I pull with my Tesla. And this song is called The Green Gatsby. Quite good branding. All right. Here you go. This is how it goes. Chris Castro, show it to this last show. When you see us, you can feel the passion. It ain't even a hassle. Get into the cash flow. You can turn this past to a castle. Okay, Woo. I'm a Jay Blanche till the light slow. Uh, high tech kippy with a nice flow. Uh, got him roped in like a lasso. Real big goals, and I'm yelling go lasso. I got fam that I met down in Basel. We got plans, they invented in NASA. Last off, and we got fam at the Casa. Looking yeah, like Picasso. A little rap for or a fast forward. I just press fast forward, watching Netflix on a dashboard. Hey, in this glove box, needs a password. Taking rainwater showers in the backyard. So cinematic, like black bars. Meal plan waiting by the back door. No time for it when we're at war. So it's roll, pull, taxi, cuddle in the backseat. Welcome to the mansion of the Green Gatsby. Boomers ask me if I'm overreacting. They don't see the science, and that's truly maddening. Hey, but today is a nice day. I just cook vegan for my friends. We're in a 5K, save 5K off of sleeping in the driveway. Put it in the TSLA. Woo! Now it's capital gains and now I pack at the palace doing actual things. And I've been active and balancing. I'm glad that you came. I'd like to welcome you to a new American dream. Got a backyard filled up. Edible things. Barrels of rain. Ain't no label pulling the strings. I'm showing them things. Privilege to be part of the team. It's part of some change. I stayed in this lane and it feels amazing. <laughs> Jeff Polly Nation, thank you so much for watching me. Dane Myers, music inspired by life, which right now has a lot to do with the climate crisis. So learn about it, hang out about it, let's talk about it.
Make music about it, make art about it. I'm all about it. All right, see ya. Hey, hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. I have some exciting news. I teamed up with Blueview Shoes. That's a shoe company that makes a 100% biodegradable shoe. That's 100% eco-friendly. I have a pair myself, they're stylish, they're comfortable, they do the job. If you want to pair yourselves, look in the description box for any links or discounts or wherever links are found, depending on where I post this. You'll be helping little guy, that's me, and you'll be helping a company that truly cares. That's Blue View Shoes, a shoe that is 100% biodegradable. Leave only footprints.